Hey everybody, this is Smokey here. Smokey needs a home, and we're gonna tell you why. Dr. Stephanie Wolf is back with us. We're gonna talk about CBD oil and kidney disease in animals. And Dustin Yerman is here with Smokey from the Buffalo Animal Shelter. Smokey has been a wonderful pet for eight or nine years, but Smokey's owner died. Unfortunately, it happens. And yeah. His owner, I don't know what the deal with the family is, but they so never made hard. any provisions for him, so he ended up at the shelter. He's such a good boy. Shelter life has not been easy for Smokey. He's a shy dog, so they don't typically do well in shelters and are very nervous. So he think he'd do best in a nice, quiet home. He's mm -hmm. super dog friendly. Um, he's very people friendly once he knows you. Probably just, I'd he's say no great. small kids. Yeah, just, just right. a, a nice, quiet retirement home. That's what home he's used him. to, right. I think he's listed as a, ha his owner said he was a Havanese mix, so okay. um, he will require grooming and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but he won't shed, so it's pretty cool. So if you're again, watching today. He'll be very loyal, he'll love you for life. And you know, eight or nine for these guys, they live 15, 16 years, mm -hmm. so he still has a good and amount of time. He looks in good shape, he's otherwise, yeah. shape. you know? He really yeah. does. He's not overweight. He was so. good in the car. He's just, again, a sweet little dude who's just <laughs> a little overwhelmed with life right now, you know? Yeah. Unfortunately, he's had a rough go of it. He's looking for a, a new person to absolutely a love nice soft and to settle down with, okay? Yeah. No fault of his own that his owner passed away. All right, this is Smokey, so we want you to head over to the Buffalo Animal Shelter and say, I'm taking Smokey home mm -hmm. today. And we okay? do have other small dogs and medium and large dogs there as well, so He's gorgeous. feel free to come in and check us and out. And I'm sure cats. Lots no of cats. No shortage of cats Please. and Thanks kittens. Some cats. Yes. <laughs> it's been a long kitten season this year. Yeah. All right, yeah. Doc, before we run out of time, CBD oil in our pets. Yes, hmm. there is the lecture tonight mm -hmm. at the um, mini vet school, which I had presented a few weeks ago. Um, tonight's topic is, one of the topics is the CBD in pets. So I don't want to give it away, but there's going to be a ton of information and a ton of good dialogue on that. Great. Um, so, hey, head over to Madai College. It's mm -hmm. a $10, I believe it's a $10 registration for just tonight. Um, but sit down, listen yeah. to it. It's a lousy day anyway. Right. Nobody's really doing day anything. For sure. right. <laughs> it's a great day to sit down and, you know, learn some new stuff or maybe enhance the knowledge you already have and see exactly what strides we have made in terms of using you know treatments like this in pets because yeah. somebody like Smokey down the road you never know a little arthritis something else kicks in and you know it might be a good adjunct to right. the rest of the treatments right. as well um, in terms of long-term diseases certainly you've got to look for you know changes in your pets you know drinking habits eating habits mm -hmm. you know muscle mass that sort of thing because you know, say at eight, nine years of age, sometimes things like that start, you Definitely. know, kicking in. Right. But you have genetic issues that mm -hmm. can also affect some of these same organs. Kidney disease in particular um, is one of those things that can be genetic, especially in cats, um, and can be something that's congenital that they're born with. So it's definitely a good idea to make sure that, you know, your animals are growing up mm -hmm. properly. And if there is some sort of change, weight loss, decrease in appetite, water consumption, vomiting, that sort of thing, right. that um, you take your pet in. All right, everybody, Smokey is waiting for you over at the Buffalo Animal Shelter. He just wants, like you say, a soft landing. Yes, he does. Somewhere where he can come on in and, uh, and know that, look, you're the new person taking care of me. I'm going to be a great pet. Smokey, I say hi to Courtney. <laughs> I saw you checking me out over there. Yeah. I was waving to you. <laughs> Look at how camera. good he is. <laughs> well, now is the time, everybody, to give us a call. 644 98 Four zero oh. for those wonderful Teresa Caputo, the oh, Long nice. Island medium tickets. If you caught our word of the day at the top of the show, give us a call, tell us that word, and the seventh caller is going to take home these tickets. It is for Teresa's Sunday, November 24th show right. at Shea's Buffalo Theater. So here's a treat for your Tuesday. Yep. Give us a call and we wish you the best yeah, of luck. Yeah, and we'll let you know who won tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching.